Hey everybody! So in today's video we're going to find out which provides a faster internet connection, a dedicated mobile router or your smartphone in a hotspot mode. So if the cable internet is not an option for you or you just need a mobile hotspot for your devices, basically you have two options – your phone or an LTE router. For this test I'm gonna use my Samsung smartphone and these two very popular budget routers. I'll put links in the description below. The first router features two external Wi-Fi antennas, Ethernet and USB-C ports and comes with an AC adapter, but you can also power it from a USB port. This one is very compact and is powered by a huge battery which provides up to 15 hours of autonomous work. You can also power this router from a USB port. Both routers have the same interface. We got one window for network status information and the second one shows your Wi-Fi network name and password. They both cost about 25 bucks. I'm gonna use the same 4G SIM card across all devices. First, let's check the internet speed my phone gets from my mobile network, which we will use as a reference speed. I won't use any dedicated benchmark apps, we'll run a test through the browser. As you can see, we're getting about 63 megabits per second for download and 15 megabits for upload, with a latency of 26 milliseconds. Next, I'll turn on the hotspot on my phone and connect my laptop to it. Let's run the same test. The internet speed has slightly dropped, but it's still enough for comfortable browsing and streaming 4K videos on YouTube and Netflix. Now let's check the Wi-Fi link speed. Right-click on the network icon, go to Network Settings, select Wi-Fi, and here's my network. You can see that the Wi-Fi connection between my laptop and the phone's hotspot is established on 5 GHz band, with a connection speed of 150 megabits, which is great. Next, I'm gonna remove the SIM card from my phone and insert it into router. Let's start with this one. All you need to do is insert a SIM card and you can use it right away. However, if you don't want to use the default network name and password, you can change them using the web interface. Here's the default IP address and password. Then go to the Wi-Fi settings and simply update your network name and password. Additionally, in the network settings, make sure to check this box to activate mobile data. Ok, so the same speed test and here's the result. The download speed dropped by almost half, but it's still quite good for web browsing or watching 1080p videos. However, watching 4K content might not be as comfortable. This one has the same specs, but offers more features for its size. Despite having built-in Wi-Fi antennas, the signal strength is just as strong as on the previous one. The download and upload speeds are very similar, I don't see much of a difference here. Now let's check the Wi-Fi link speed of this router. As you can see, this router operates on 2.4 GHz band, and the speed is twice lower than on phone's hotspot. But considering that we can only get about 25 megabits internet from these routers, then 72 megabits for Wi-Fi connection is not that bad. And the last feature I want to talk about is USB tethering. This feature allows you to connect your device to the internet via USB cable at a slightly higher speed. Simply connect the router to a computer and you'll immediately see a wired Ethernet connection icon. And as you can tell, the internet speed has slightly increased. Smartphones also have this feature. And the difference in speed is quite noticeable. When you use USB tethering on this router, you can still have a Wi-Fi connection for other devices. The same applies to Samsung's phones. So, to sum up, what would I choose? Well, if I had an extra Samsung phone, I would definitely use it as a hotspot, which would run 24-7 without any problem. Just remove all the apps and disable all necessary services for an interrupted operation. If I need a mobile router, then this one would be my choice. It's super compact, you can always take it with you, and in case of power outage, you'll have internet connection for at least 12 hours, or more if you connect it to a power bank. So I hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.